what is going on ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another video today we are checking out heavy flamer heresy space hulk deathwing from the channel the russian badger this was a requested video quite a few times actually we checked out his first video um and he does obviously i don't know if it's like the review of the warhammer games but obviously we checked out that first one people were, were requesting this one so i thought i'd do this we've just finished the hell's reach series i know you lot won the text to speech emperor series but i've been told that I'm probably not going to get a lot of the jokes straight away, so we're going to do some other videos first, and then we'll see. I might do like one episode to see, and then we'll, we'll, we'll go from there. But it will definitely come, just maybe not straight away. I just need to learn a little bit more about this. And you guys have sent me a lot of suggestions, not just Warhammer that I have to get through before we get there. But it has been heavily, heavily, heavily requested, so we will get there, don't worry. But yeah, without further ado, we're going to get into this video. 21 minutes long, so yeah, you guys... Have been suggesting long videos that is also another thing a lot of these warhammer law videos are really long like a lot of you guys have suggested the oh, arch warhammer and lutin 09 or whatever we've done one of his videos before but a lot of those videos are like 40 minutes long and i can't i don't know if i would react to them it'd be hour long i don't know if you guys would watch that maybe you would but i think it'll be boring i don't know you guys let me know if you would be interested in me watching like the hour long law videos but yeah we're gonna get into this without any more talking and let's go. Brother, get the flamer. The heavy flamer. We are the enemies of death. My theory is made manifest. We are the fight of the chapter's finest. I would like to file a complaint. I love how indiscriminate you are with your flame. You don't need oh, to no. whip it like a noodle at a swimming pool. Like, what the fuck? Ah! <laughs> Purge it in flame. Burn in holy fire. Time has come, brothers. No mercy. Shitpo slash heresy alert. If you're offended when someone goofs up the lore or talks shit about your favorite chapter of Space Marines, please. <laughs> Welcome to the grim darkness of the future. I can't be offended because I don't know what the hell's going on, you know? <laughs> but there is some people, man, even I find, I don't know anything about this, but the first video I watched. And I called it A-Starts, and people got so angry that I didn't know what a Space Marine was, some of them. Not most people did, but just, there's just some people that seem to get really angry when you don't understand what's going on, you know? Future where peace, happiness, and prosperity have been replaced by war, death, and destruction. Not necessarily in that order, but necessarily <laughs> in mass quantities. I will endure a thousand deaths before I yield. In the last episode, nine months ago, we were introduced to the sentient fungi known as the Orcs. <laughs> The corn-worshipping heretics known as the forces of chaos that make the civilian casualties of World War II look like a picnic. Skulls for the skull throne! Blood for the blood god! A list of cornate massacres. This list is incomplete. You can help Don't by expanding it. it. <laughs> and most importantly, the space marines of the Imperium of Man, led by the venerate emperor himself. We are one in the emperor and the will of man. And as much as I'd love to hear about your hyper-intelligent dark elder waifu, the dumbass weeaboo space Space communists and the rattle me bones robots the xeno stealing your shit this time around are the gene stealer tyranids your infestation spreads no further alien it may sound like despotic deja vu for someone to be stealing your shit again but that's usually the way these 40k games go xenos are either killing something breaking something or stealing something you're deployed to intervene you realize the shit is fucked and you may as well blow it all up anyways <laughs> and then you blow it all up no. Can survive the flame. Which may beg the question from your perspective, why not just blow it all up in the first place? Like, ex I mean, they do kind of just blow it up in the first place. You guys let me know if you want me to play any of these games, man. I don't know. We'll see if I can, you know? I might stream it or we can just do it as a series. I don't know. If you'd be interested. If not, is what it is. Exterminatus nuke from orbit, and to that I retort Because it is the Emperor's will, and also purging is re really, really fun, brother The Gene Stealers are doing just that on one of your space hulks called the Alethros And you're the librarian in charge of salvaging anything of value and purging the Xeno filth Your heresy stops here Alongside Devastator Barakil, Apothecary Nahum, and Shot Collar Belial you make up Deathwing, the first company of the Dark Angels chapter. We are the angels of death! The whole Dark Angels in bone white armor may be a little confusing, but it's only Deathwing. The rest of the Dark Angels are actually green, even though 
the salamanders are already green, but the salamanders are almost always on fire, so it's not that hard to- Brother, enough with the lore! Brothers, retri- <laughs> Is it- in, in Hell's Reach, when the salamanders came, they were just setting everything on fire. <laughs> Someone told me they are pyromaniacs, so, yeah. Fusion is at hand. It is our strength. We are the sons of Caliber. Let fury guide your weapons. Let vengeance be your song. We are the angels of death, and our enemies shall fall! Decked out in Terminator armor, you're mm -hmm. larger and more formidable than your ordinary space marine, but not so huge that you can't fit through doorways like a menacing full-size dreadnought. None may block <laughs> our path. And you better believe you're gonna need this intimidating armor, because the gene stealers you're up against, well, they're not hey, exactly small. By the Emperor! Can the Xenos get any bigger? And you may be thinking, at least I have two Dark Angel Terminators to help me. Wrong. I know it may be heresy to shit talk fellow Terminators. Bold words for someone in assault cannon range. Delete this heresy. The heresy? It burns. We heard you were talking shit, brother. But short of dispensing a few cookie cutter voice lines and soaking up damage, they are useless. <laughs> Most games, though, when you have like uh, AI teammates like when you go for a campaign they are useless like in COD I remember what COD was I playing like Black Ops campaign or something you have a guy there the entire time they don't kill anyone they just there you know what I mean are the angels of death. That is like one single Xeno. Steady yourself, brother. Discipline is their sole strength, as in even if they are on the brink of death, they will not heal themselves unless you instruct them to. So if you really want to get heretical, you can instruct Apothecary Nahum to constantly juice himself up with self-heals like a phoenix junkie, and he becomes a Tyranid Broodlord punching bag while you inflict heavy damage on whatever's attempting to eat you. Tyranid bait is not the right word, brother. I prefer Expeditionary Tyranid punching bag. Your skill tree allows you to make these fellow brothers of yours more powerful, yourself more powerful, or grant additional purging abilities, and I sure as shit didn't blow any of it on them. Yes. Brother Barakil, I realize you want better armor, but I can now purge heretics in three different kinds of fire. At least your objectives are simple, because you'll usually see a one-word description like fight what? or destroy <laughs> off in the distance, and I think you already know what the hell you're doing here. So let me save my breath. The Xenos are coming. We have to exterminate them at all costs. I'm gonna need more bolter for this heresy. I'm confused by this heresy, brother. Are the foul Xenos just purging... Themselves? Predictably, once this string of objectives is complete, you realize the gene stealers lived up to their names by stealing your genes and decide to incinerate <laughs> the place exterminatus style. It was impossible to remove the traces of our gene seed from the bodies of the aliens. So Grandmaster Belial vowed to destroy everything instead. Consider this a clear division in the video. Our guns have fallen silent, brother. Because the single player, especially on the No Mercy difficulty, can be a frustrating, overwhelming with annoyance, and underwhelming with content experience where you feel like a lone guardsman against the Legion of Xenos. Let me tell you about the Tyranids. But the multiplayer is five times better, a totally different animal, and it feels heretical even looping it in with a single player because it's a completely distinct experience. Xenophobia increases. You the know you're product. in a 40k game when instead of saying waiting for players, it's waiting for brothers. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> brother. I'm getting too loyal for this shit. Brother, 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 brother. brother. <laughs> Look at Psycho, he's right. I need to smack a hair. What's dick. up? <laughs> First of all, multiplayer allows you to play six classes instead of just one. Not that I hated playing a librarian. I don't know what a librarian looks like because I can't fucking read. But heavy weapon specialty granted me an assault cannon and abilities like zero spread, a devastating mine, and a virtual A10 warthog for an arm. Assault cannon deployed. Blood ravens be like <laughs> me, an intellectual. <laughs> oh, the size range. No, you got this. Get no, you missed. Look at him. Look at him. That's zero accuracy on that oh, rate of on. fire. Easy for somebody with a fucking A10 warthog strapped to their arm to say. Run to me, brother. Yeah. They'll all get fucked if they run into it. Just watch. 
done. <laughs> <laughs> Apothecaries are important because with half the Tyranids being able to tear through your armor like a Cheetos bag, you're going to need an answer to your H key, which happens to be a needle drill the size of a baseball bat. Stimulant deploy. Apothecary require a Mother, I need an apothecary. <laughs> It is tearing and whispering in my ear. He needed one too. You would do that. You would do that. The apothecary walks up. Come here. You think he's gonna Come heal here. you? You think he's Come gonna here. heal you by stabbing you with his needle? He just punches you in the. No, the apothecary is like the doctor healer, like the the medicine man. Let's go. Face. Whatever, I'm going in. Hold on, brother. Hold on, brother. The cooldown. There, I'm gonna drill your oh, ass. By the way, there you go. Little... Oh. Hey, man, how many fingers am I holding up? Turn off your heavy flamer so I can tell you. <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> well, I'll get you, I'll get you, there you go. Thank you, brother. Tactical specialty was a must-have because he can revive a fallen brother. Your duty is not done, brother! And interrogator chaplain is a no-brainer because he can revive three fallen brothers, temporarily reflect all incoming damage, and temporarily become invincible, which makes him broken as sh- Yeah, I was about to say, this guy sounds OP, bro. I want to use him. What the hell? Get the best looking and overall a force to be reckoned with. Hey, he's meaningless to me. Can I speak to your manager? <laughs> <laughs> the point I'm making with all of this fuss about classes is that multiplayer offers both variety and specialization. Whether you're looking for something different or you just want to play someone that suits your style, you can move far beyond the librarian of the <laughs> single player and retribution just isn't the same without your brothers. Brothers, to partake in our crusade, to be immortal. It's worth mentioning at this point to turn Codex rules on because it is a far less grindy experience and more importantly, friendly fire is off. <laughs> With the amount of heavy flamers we run, I'd say the Codex Astartes does support this action. We may get burned, brothers. Yeah, the first thing that you do, of course. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the space book says this is bad. Don't up your <laughs> There's no need to do that. It says we can't do that. And the codex. Why can't we? <laughs> <laughs> Just <laughs> roast my flames. <laughs> Everybody gags until Lolly Rick pull out the heavy flamer. <laughs> <laughs> Which conveniently leads me to my next point. Weapons. I'm gonna need a heavy flamer for this heresy. In the single player, you've got to use a versatile weapon. You've got big targets, small targets, close targets, distant targets, so much of the arsenal you can't use because it doesn't meet all those requirements. Take the Redemption, for example, the badass scatterbolter that blasts Xenos away in a ricochet of righteous steel. Death to the enemy! <laughs> God, the ragdoll with that is so good, Heavenly. Yeah, it just you shoot from so gun. far. Stormbolter and Stormbolter. Yo, the mark. shit ricochets? What the fuck? Yeah. Yup. Yep. In the single player, you won't have the range to hit the dudes with Grimdark Panzer Shreks or anything at a distance for that matter, and your brain dead brethren sure as shit won't notice them, so you're boned due to lack of range. But in multiplayer, you can combine your redemption with a heavy flamer, Spear of Caliban, and Stormbolter for coverage at all ranges. You cover your brother up close while they cover anything at a distance. For the Emperor! And that's also the reason why melee is a bit of a joke, because on normal difficulty, I love crushing heretics and merciless retribution. My faith is my shield! By all accounts, it was no more than a hulking mass of steel! But with any higher difficulty, it just doesn't work. Not only because Tyranids specialize in melee combat as apex predators, but so many gene stealers can one-shot you, it's paramount to purge them before they get close. Furthermore, damage is localized, as in if a gene stealer chomps your right arm, you can't shoot, and slashes your legs, you can't run away. So again, <laughs> melee is a tough sell. I cannot move. Hey, at least you can use a power fist with every heavy weapon, so it may not be a sword or an axe, but you can still smack a heretic. Feel the weight of the chapter's yeah. finest. Die! Oh, you get the point I'm hammering at. Every weapon in the arsenal is at your disposal with brothers by your side in multiplayer, instead of a handful of versatile ones in the single player, which means more fun, more purging, and of course, indiscriminate use of the heavy flamer. Burn in holy fire! I tell you to stop using your flamer so that I can see. First of all, this is a heavy flame. These guys love the fucking heavy flame, I like. <laughs> they they literally live for it at this point. They just trolling. <laughs> Why are you flaming me? I'm right. <laughs> My flame does not discriminate. I'm an equal opportunity flamer. <laughs> <laughs> equal opportunity purging. Hey, 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 hey. 
No. You look like a disciplining mother with like a spray bottle, but instead it's <laughs> hey, a heavy hey, flavor. No. No. It's heavy for a reason, because the Xenos you're up against I like to categorize as Apex Predators, Suicidal Apex Predators, <laughs> and Apex Predators so large Jesus. that they can only be described as virtually... He does that that one look like Alien from the Alien film. The immortal. I'm sorry, it's I'm a big sorry, boy. Little... It's a big boy. Get out of my way, Clue. Get out of my right, way. I'm too chunky. Yeah. <laughs> oh, get behind the man with the assault can. Gotcha. You'll come up in a second. No, we'll be fine, Clue. You got an assault cannon and a heavy flamer, he'll go down. There you go. Technically, the Scythe Strain is virtually immortal, and the Brood Lord is virtually immortal and psychic. So, rule of thumb, Cthulhu looking Xenos are <laughs> superior to non Cthulhu looking Xenos. What is this? Get behind me, brother. And if it's a 20 foot tall praying mantis bug looking thing that just cuts your buddy in half and doesn't go down with an initial burst, it's either a Scythe Strain or a brood lord and you may want to start a retro i mean a tactical withdrawal because two <laughs> more are on their way retreat now for victory later all right everything you got Why everything you got boys? to the brood lord on the right just do the one close to the objective as uh, soon as he gets here so goose hit your reflect yeah, got, and on, after on. it's done hit your I'm invincible I, I have to bounce back i got the reflect damage you're honestly not gonna be able to see anything just just keep yep, tanking yep, yep, him yep. we got a heavy player oh, and a soul cannon just laying into him Goose. it doesn't oh, matter i can't, can't see, see anything, anything. they gotta be so chunk oh, they gotta be so chunk i got you i got you you're coming back that's thank one you, down you. one down SMH, my damn head, man. that's it that's I it the, i can't see a fucking thing when the 20 foot tall genetically perfect apex predator gets mowed down by a bunch of dipshit farmers with flashlights I could rant about the bullshit psychers that can one-shot you with heresy, but I don't want this video to quadruple in length for the sake of Xeno sorcery space magic. I am calm. What sorcery is this? <laughs> <laughs> Yet no matter how terrifying the Xenos you're faced with, they all have a glaring weakness with no known counter. Doors. This is a point of strategic import. It may sound weird that doors are the pinnacle of strategy, strategy in Deathwing, but deciding whether to lock them, unlock them, or simply power fist them open for a rapid escape is the closest it comes to chess. I leave only rubble. You're existing on a whiff. A quick tutorial on doors. These are the most important <laughs> things. Not even fucking pirates can get through that shit. <laughs> That's how you go through doors. This is gonna keep them out, right? <laughs> yes, Don't if do you it, hack man. <laughs> oh, let's close this door behind us. Oh wait, we can't. Oh, and this wait. is where I'd lock the door. If there was one! <laughs> Alright, this isn't what we're actually supposed to do now. Come no, no, come for <laughs> Die! Why are you like this? Just get in oh, here, brother! Lady? I'll block it, I'll block it, I'll block it! Ah, I can block shut that it! Shit, Don't yeah. I'll get it! Oh, I can hear him right there! I'm pretty Ooh. sure that was the hive timer from last mission. He is oh, right pissed. there and he is so mad. He's pissed, brother! We do not want your Girl Scout cookies, brother. <laughs> it should also be mentioned that doors and entryways are the most dangerous adversary in all of the Alethros because they can swallow you without mercy or meaning. There's a lot of- oh, oh, yeah, man, he's, he's hit probably him, in this- Oh, that, that seems fair. Up. That seems fair. I gotta purge this heresy right here. Looks like heresy to me, brother. I don't- I don't see anybody. Heresy- is now know. airborne. Get this off my screen. I'll, I'll, I'll fucking light him on fire though. I don't give a shit. Open the door. Open the door. I'm trying. Brother. Brother. It's blocked. So it's just stuck there like a big piece of shit. The Yo, Codex Astartes does not support this action. Brother, I am pinned here. If you don't get stuck, you'll experience the best the game has to offer outside of the heavy flamer, which is the environment. From the biggest freezer in the universe to the massive cathedrals, holy oh, yeah. shit is it ever well done. Does the architecture bring honor to the Emperor? Yes. Are we overloading the reactor to purge it all in flame in 20 minutes? Also, yes. Look at my screen. Yeah, I'm yeah, freezing yeah, my ass yeah, off in here. <laughs> That's such a good solution. Brother. Brother, are you cold? Are you cold? Brother, I am chilled here. <laughs> And the better decisions you make, the longer you'll stay alive, the more purging you'll do, and the more renown you'll earn. To spend on upgrades like faster reloads, beefier health, and weapons that never jam. I don't always jam my spirit cow, man, but when I do, it's because the scythe strain is breathing on my face. My face when I see a hive tyrant and I'm reloading. <laughs> 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 Resilient increases HP by 30% for each body part. A fellow space <laughs> marine just walks up yeah. and jabs you in the arm. 
You're still at 100%. Cosmetics are available too, which you can frown upon all you want, but you've really got to grind for them, and at least they aren't microtransactions. <laughs> this skin is uh, the indomitable assault cannon of wrath. Holy shit, Psycho. That's such a neat skin. Fuck. Oh, well, thank you. Traitor's doom, destruction's glory, the voice of devastation, torment of defiance, and pain <laughs> of the heretic. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Wait, is that... <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I can re I can really ham that up. Just... <clears throat> Bane of the heretic. Torment of defiance. Traitor's doom. Destruction's glory. Voice of devastation. God. Oh, it's hilarious. I'm glad that I successfully deceived you until the end of the video because the greatest enemy in the entire game? Frame rates. Even with a monster rig of an i9-7980 XE and a 2080 Ti, I consistently cratered to sub 40 FPS from the sheer amount of Xeno filth and heavy flamer on my screen. Purge them in flame! Yeah, we ain't playing this game because my frame rates are awful, so... Yeah. The Emperor's Finest. <laughs> My graphics card is gonna break. It's gonna break. <laughs> God, are, are these flames ray tracing enabled? <laughs> I still am at 40. But I'm also glad and most thankful that I had my brothers beside me because we had Jackal who knows everything about 40k. Lionel Johnson is the Primarch of the Dark Angels. The only reason he hasn't returned is because he's literally just asleep. Jello who knows next to nothing about 40k. <laughs> what is that? It's my ex wife, Karen! Karen! <laughs> that would be me. Nice. I already gave you the alimony! I burned the custody paper! Kids are coming! She can't keep you from me forever! And Heavenly, who fits somewhere in between. Sounds like a bunch of nerds! Blood for the blood god! That's clearly some heresy. I hope you had fun breaking heretics in half with me. Fight will not save you, Falzino! And even if you didn't, we purged them all in flame and bounced on out of there anyways. Their shelter has become their tomb. The end. I'd like to extend a solemn RIP to all of the shitters in my Discord that I ban for saying the Deathwing is trash. I don't know. Anybody I ban is the same pile of filth in my book. <laughs> Damn. Damn. This is how I look when I ban people. I don't remember <laughs> 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 God, what is right. Secondly, I kind of miss having a boss fight. Not that I miss Xeno scum in any way, shape, or form, but maybe if there was a bigger Xeno that I got to fight that said some shit like, Ship, that could have been kind of <laughs> neat, instead of just seeing a bigger and bigger Tyranid each time they didn't have a name. And thirdly, holy shit do I ever miss unlimited sprint. I know it's not something that always goes through your mind, but when you've run like 20 feet and you are just sucking wind, damn do I ever miss unlimited sprint. Holy God. With all that being said, I had a ton of fun playing this game. I had a ton of fun making this video. Anytime I just get to play in your sandbox, those of you that are really, really hardcore 40k dudes, I have a blast. In closing, I'd like to thank you guys so very much for watching. It means the world to me that you watched the end of the video, and I had so much fun creating content at a Warhammer 40k. It is so over the top. It is so nuts. I love every second of it. And be sure to tune in next year when we go to a Salamander's Barbecue. Alright, that is the end of that video, man. This guy obviously makes really good videos. He's got like 2.5 mil subscribers, so yeah, he's got the subscribers for a reason because his videos are hilarious. I don't think he's done any more 40k videos. So yeah. You know, he said a year. It's only been a few, like six months since he uploaded that video, so you know. <laughs> we won't be seeing... We won't be seeing one for a while, but yeah, man. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. You can go check out his channel if you want, not that it's gonna help him that much because I don't have that many subscribers. But you know, it is what it is, man. Thank you all for watching this video. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you all next time. <laughs>